Okay, we have uh, five grams of methane of 5.00 grams of methane and ethylene C2H4 Oh, it's five grams of this whole, the whole thing is five grams. <coughs> Was burned in excess oxygen. So each, the, each of these will have a separate reaction to form the products. Okay, so there's two combustion reactions happening at the same time. One for CH4 and one for C2H4 uh, to form CO2 and water. Uh, we should balance this and then we'll kind of go on with the question. Uh, one carbon, so there's one carbon here, that's good. Four hydrogens, so I should have four hydrogens there. That makes on the right hand side one, two, three, four oxygen, so I'll put a two here. Two carbons here, so I'll put a two here. Four hydrogens, so I'll put a two there. And I have four hydrogens on both sides. Now on the right hand side there's one, two, six, so I'll put a three. Okay, now I have both of my reactions balanced. Uh, yielding Of both of these, 14.5 grams. And it wants to know the mass percent of ethylene, C2H4. That's, that's the big question. Is the 14.5 for both of them or just for that one? I'm pretty sure it's for both. It says... Like this together they make 14. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the thing about it. <coughs> okay. So, well, that's unfortunate. So here, this is going to be, you know, so much from each one. Okay, so they say this is mass. There's X grams of the top one and Z grams of the bottom one. They add up to 14. I like that. They both contribute so many grams to it, a total of 14.5. It doesn't tell you about the water. Uh, and then the same for this. If this is W grams of methane and Z grams of ethylene, then 5 equals W plus Z. I'm just picking whatever letters you like to write down. doesn't matter. Uh, just so you can get an idea. Oh, I shouldn't use Z because I use Z over there. W plus Y. Let's use a Y. There. Okay. Now let's set up some uh, my initial thought. Let's set up some equations to see if we can solve for what our variables are. So, uh, kind of like this. If I start off with W grams of methane, let me calculate how much CO2 is formed. Well, in this remember, this is grams. W, if I multiply by the molar mass, and I think it's about 16 for methane from your periodic table. Grams per mole, there's moles of methane, and then there's one mole of methane for every uh, one mole CO2, just from the balance. And so CO2, I think that's 44 grams per mole. This equals what variable? It's going to be equal x. This is the mass. Is that okay? This is the mass of CO2, x which is going to be some number times w. So now I have an equation that relates x and w. Let's do it for the other one. y, that's in grams, 
This is going to be uh, 24 plus 4, 28 grams per mole. This one is 1 mole of ethylene for every 2 moles CO2. <coughs> And then CO2 is 44 grams per mole. And that equals Z. Okay? So now I, I should have enough to do it. Because I have 1, 2, 3, 4 equations and 4 unknowns. So I just solve algebra. I forgot who it asked. I think it was over here. Is that okay? There might be an easy way to do it. That's the first way it comes to my mind. So, I would multiply this out. X equals something times W. Z equals something times Y. The sum of those equals 14.5 and kind of monkey around with those equations until you get something. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, was the answer that one wrong? I don't know. 